Symbian Bell introduced by Nokia. Nokia's Symbian OS adopted a weird naming convention earlier in the year when the platform was taken back into Nokia ownership after a disastrous time as an open source project. Although Nokia's long-term aim is to move high-end smartphones to Windows Phone, Symbian is likely to remain in the lineup for some time in slightly lower-end devices. Initially launching with the new Nokia 600, 700 and 701 models, the Symbian Bell looks like a significant upgrade to the previous version, Symbian Anna. The user interface has been significantly revamped and it's much easier for users to use and customise. And NFC support is deeply integrated into the operating system, which might well help with NFC adoption rates. The home screen is beginning to look rather like Android, which is no bad thing when it comes to impressing potential customers. Symbian has a good reputation as being an efficient and stable operating system too, and we have no doubt that Nokia fans will be pleased with the new changes. Nokia has had a partnership with Microsoft for a long time to bring connectivity features into Symbian devices, and Symbian Bell can now integrate with Microsoft Link, SharePoint, OneNote, Exchange, and a new system called PowerPoint Broadcaster. Nokia also say that Symbian Bell will be available for the Nokia 500, N8, E6, E7, X7, C7 and C601 at some point in the future, which will be a welcome upgrade. Symbian is maturing into a very good product, but perhaps it would have been better if Symbian Bell came out a year or two ago instead of today. Symbian Bell is unlikely to get customers switching from iPhones and Androids, but perhaps it will be enough to stem the flow of existing customers to rivals.